Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for having me in the second edition of the International Conference BML. My name is Lubna Terada, PhD student in Hassando University of Casablanca in Morocco and, and I am delighted to be here to be speaking about demand forecasting and supply chain management based on deep learning. This is a joint uh, research work with Professor Mohamed Al-Khaili and Professor Hassan Waji who are part of the same affiliation. My presentation is divided into five parts. I will start with a brief introduction in order to explain the context of our research work. Next, I will present our objectives. Then I will look at a review on the deep learning methods used in this research in order to make a demand forecasting for the supply chain management. I will present and emphasize the intended results afterwards. And finally, I will conclude with the perspectives of our current and future research work. First of all, I would like to give you some background information about supply chain management, which is a mutant and complex system which represents a competitive challenge that companies are facing. Supply chain management encompasses the planning and management of all activities involved in sourcing and procurement conversion and all activities uh, related to logistics management's management. Intelligent technology brings great opportunities and serves challenges to the high quality development of the manufacturing industry. Demand forecasting is an important research field in many industries. The manufacturing industry generally tends to order sales. If the output is lower than the demand, the buyer chooses the manufacturer to meet the demand of their orders, which means the chance of losing an order. On the other hand, if the output exceeds the actual demand, the inventory cost may increase. Therefore, a reasonable grasp of the manufacturing demand can help industry companies to control the bullwhip event effect to uh, plan from a macro perspective that and thus avoid surplus or shortage of materials. That's why improving the accuracy of manufacturing industry demand forecasting is very important. In this part we will present our research objectives. In this study we aim to find a more accurate method to forecast manufacturing industry demand based on deep learning methods. Secondly, we aim to reduce the logistics cost by enhancing the demand forecast accuracy. And the third objective is to study the impact of artificial intelligence on the logistics perf performance throughout the supply chain management. The control of the logistic processes of the supply chain system is a substantial business operation problem for ensuring valid and optimal client experience. Therefore, production facilities and logistics management should improve their tracking processes and methods in supply chain. The main idea of this conceptual framework is to create a suitable approach of analyzing supply chain management data, which was obtained from Internet of Things technologies. It's important to highlight the significance of artificial intelligence application in this framework. Thus, all the data received from warehouse, logistics, and inventory activities throughout the IoT devices is stored and observed in company's electronic database. Then, the machine learning application received all receive all necessary information from electronic database in order to compute the feasible inaccuracies in the supply chain operation. Thereby, logistics focus area are usually arranged according to their position referring to the manufacturer and allocation operations. Sp specifically, supply logistics in is con conducted preparatory to the manufacturing facilities. In recent years, there have been many research methods of industrial demand forecasting. The first is the traditional classical regression method. Later, with the development of technology, machine learning has been widely used in industrial demand forecasting, such as random forest, gray model, support vector machine, neural network, and SVM. And neural networks are the most prominent. Primary literature review was initiated to find a suitable machine learning algorithm and then based on the results of literature review and experiments performed to evaluate the performance of several algorithms. The research framework includes the following steps. Research objective, selection, in the manufacturing industry demand. The second step is the target setting, forecasting manufacturing industry demand for the next year. The third step is screening of indexes and data, data collection. The fourth uh, step is construction of an index system through correlation analysis and the characteristic analysis. 
uh, and the select of the prediction method and the final step it is the predicted results choose the method of minimal error to forecast the manufacturing demand in of an industry for the next year then based on the forecast factors long short term memory is used to forecast the manufacturing demand for the next year we use we used LSTM, NNN, and RNN models to predict the future values of these factors through historical data. As a matter of fact, LSTM model is an extension of RNN, has a strong capability in forecasting time series data. The main difference between an RNN and LSTM is that LSTM can store long-range time dependency information and can suitably map between input and output data. The aim of this study is to obtain an accurate model for demand forecasting of a furniture company. We exploit recent deep learning methods to specify the best time series forecasting model for solving the demand forecasting problems. LSTM is the most acceptable method for non perishable items on account of its lower cost and excellent prediction performance. To sum up, improving the accuracy of manufacturing industry demand forecasting is important. However, the manufacturing industry is a field affected by many variables, including international relations. The manufacturing industry is the fundamental support of high-quality economic development under the background of intelligent technology. The traditional manufacturing industry needs to adapt to the characteristic of new round of scientific and technological re revolution and its industrial change by integrating the production process with the new generation of information technology. The manufacturing industry can solve the technical bottleneck in its development. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.